Hey, what's going on, dude? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I just got back from talking to my counselor, and she was actually telling me about this TSI we have to take. What's the TSI? It's a test you have to take in order to get into college. Hey, what are y'all talking about? Something called the STI? Oh, you mean the TSI. I've heard of it, but I'm a freshman, so I don't have to worry about it yet. Actually, if you're thinking about taking any dual credit classes as early as your sophomore or freshman year, you have to take the TSI first. Great. Another test I get to make cool designs with bubbles. I mean, I guess that's one option, but it may cost you in the end if you don't do well. So what do you mean it will cost you? Well, it's actually a test that determines your skill level in math, reading, and writing. So, for instance, let's say you do really well on the reading and writing parts. You'd end up in college level English, right? But maybe you don't do too well on the math part. Have you been looking at my grades again? Ha ha. Anyways, the college can then require you to take a remedial math class if you need to improve your math skills before you take, say, college le level algebra. It's a really good deal if you need the help. But if you go in and randomly bubble. So it's a class I'll take that will help me, but what's the catch? The catch is you don't receive any college credit and you have to pay the full tuition amount for the class. So? So, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Wait, what? Yep. No credits on your college transcript, you have to pay the full amount for the class, and you can't drop out. So, basically, it's best to do as well as you can on the TSI. So I don't have to study for days for another long and boring test. Well, actually, the TSI covers a lot of the things we've already studied in school. So just about the only thing you'll really have to look over is maybe how the test is designed, what specifically is going to be on there, and a few testing strategies, especially for the essay. So that means that we'll need to study. It sounds like we all need to study, but where do we start? There are certain circumstances that could qualify you to exempt from the TSI test. For example, you can ask your counselor if you have met the certain requirements for the SAT or ACT, or if you have taken or are currently taking college dual credit class. However, if you don't meet either of these requirements, you will need to sign up to take the TSI. There is a short pre-assessment that will need to be taken before you can take the test. Research or study the materials provided by your school in order to get a better idea of what to expect on the test. The test is divided into three sections, writing, math, and reading. Each section contains 20 to 24 multiple choice questions, with the writing section also containing an essay. The writing section is based on a 1 to 8 score range, with 5 being adequate mastery. Math is a score range of 350 to 390, and reading is a score range of 351 to 390. Again, it is important to test to the best of your abilities when you take the test.